The Georgia indictment of former President Donald Trump occupies an unusual place among four criminal cases. To begin with, this may be most compelling case. Given how many partners are accused in the alleged conspiracy to disrupt 2020 election, there is also the possibility that the trial will be televised. Finally, there is much more reason to believe that Trump will not be tried before the 2024 election in this case than in the other three cases. Still, we're about to learn some important things very soon. Three key defendants have already pushed issue in ways that could lift veil on strength of case against Trump. Former Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows request to take his case to federal court will be the subject of an evidentiary hearing Monday. Meadows' claim may need to testify for success. And on Thursday we learned that Fulton County District Attorney Fannie T. Willis had summoned two key witnesses to appear in court Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and his lead investigator, Francis Watson. Also Thursday, the judge set a hearing date for Kenneth Cheesebro for October 23. Cheesebro requested a speedy hearing, which he was entitled to under Georgia law. Trump's former attorney, Sidney Powell has also requested a speedy hearing, although a hearing date has yet to be set. Although their cases are separate from defendants who choose to delay their trial, an early hearing for one or more defendants may focus on key aspects of the alleged conspiracy. As for how important Monday can be, the big breakthrough will be Meadows taking the stand, which some legal experts doubt will do. Regardless, the trial may provide our first glimpse into how some other key witnesses testified. And it could set the tone as to whether other defendants' cases should be lifted from Fulton County. Had Meadows really appeared in court, he probably would nt have testified, said Clark Cunningham, a law professor at Georgia State University. So the decision to be sacked will be important to the way things are going. It may be almost a more difficult process than what we will face on October 23rd. As for the hearing date of October 23rd, things could still change. But if Cheesebro and Powell continue to insist that the trial be speedy, the trial could begin in a few weeks. Some Georgia legal experts say risks of the Cheesebro case will be high because of Cheesebro's central position in both Georgia case and special counsel Jack Smith's federal indictment against Trump. Cheesebro is cited in both indictments as the architect of an effort to use alternative or fake Trump voters to help cancel the January 6, 2021 election. Smith cites a December 6, 2020 note from Cheesebro as a sharp deviation from the idea that fake voters are being used for more innocent purposes. At this point, Smith states, fake voters have turned from being a contingency plan if states reverse election results. As Trump campaign has openly claimed, to a ulent effort to create